Well, good morning. This is Hero. What are we looking at today? Well, look, let's look at the cuttings that we took last year. These over here, uh, the right one is boxwood, and one in the back is a ginkgo. Well, you know, I took these uh, last year about this time, and you can see how big they are. You can see how big these are, uh, especially the ginkgo. See how big that trunk is? If you look, the base is almost two inches. Now, I just took uh, large hardwood cuttings, but they took. So, I'm bypassing a number of years by doing it this way. The other thing I did on these, uh, I pre-shaped it, right? Well, even without the roots, I put movement and taper in it. So now all we have to do is to refine it. But uh, because these were just done last year, I want to actually take it out and repot it. But I think I'm going to wait another year. Although these are alive, I think the roots are still on the tender side. And well, what I'm trying to do is to expose a little bit more of the trunk. But uh, right now, it's working well. I'm going to wait another year. So these two were started just about a year ago. Oh, yeah, well, okay, I'm showing you success. But there was some that failed. But generally, uh, there was better percentage that took than fail. So um, I just, when I realized they were not going to make it, I threw it a lot. Well, before I do that, I should do this though. I don't want to, see this is almost a perfect shape. So I'm going to just tidy up and then make sure it's kept the way it should be. And then, although I didn't feed it very much, I should start feeding fairly heavy. Same with this one here. See how um, effective it is if you pre-shape? So this was uh, taken off of a fairly mature uh, boxwood and then I made sure that it had movement and taper, and so now just working on refinement. Okay, this one here, what we're looking at is boxwood. Uh, I started this about two months ago, slightly over two months ago, and uh, I put it in here, right? And then, so now what I'm going to do is to go ahead and take the uh, humidity uh, cover and let this harden off. Well, what I did was I gave it the, the tug test. See, there's a, a slight tension on it. That means that the roots are beginning to form. Well, don't yank too hard because it is still very tender. But going from a cover into a, a new container is too much of a shock. So I took the cover off. We're going to leave it like this for at least months, maybe even two months, and then take it out of this container and individual container. Uh, so that's sort of the steps that I do uh, when I'm working on it. Look at this one here. Uh, it's going to be great. I'm going to need to recut some of this but I'm working on the movement and taper. Uh, what happened on these was, you know, my big um, Niwaki, I, when I was moving it, I broke some of the branches. So I just shaped it and then stuck it in here and it looked like it's going to make it. Okay, what are we looking at here? Well, it was sort of a novel idea that I had to make cuttings. So I think you'll recognize this container, right? You could get it 
at your food source places. You know, you had some measuring thing there. And then what I did was I put the drain holes and some uh, holes on the top so it doesn't uh, overheat. Well, what I was trying to do was put it in a clear container so that you could see the roots. I'm not sure if it was a, a successful thing. You could kind of see it because what happens is, remember I was talking about the tug test, right? Well, some people don't actually understand this uh, tug concept. So if we have roots down below, then you know it's ready to go. And, but it's not that clear. But the tug test says that this is ready to be uh, taken out of here and tra uh, transplanted into individual container in real soil. What I'm doing right now is it's planted in straight lava rock. And then I did take this lid off for about a month or so. So it's been hardened off. So I'll go ahead and take this out and plant individually. Um, see, you should not yank it out, but kind of slide it out. Okay, so some success here. It's mm, iffy here. Iffy, maybe these. See, that's one of the problems we have. We get this false reading. Depends on which one you tug. Some have, uh, so most likely, I was tugging on something like this that has roots. Here's one that started. See, this one is looking pretty good. Uh, others not so. So perhaps I should have waited longer so my experiment in using this clear container to do the cutting, I guess, I guess it was a failure. <laughs> okay, so anyway, well, you know, you gotta have some failure to uh, be successful. So I guess if you're doing it this method, you should wait till there's a lot of roots in there for sure. I just saw a few and I got all excited. I thought they would be on the inside, but it was not the case. Okay, I got these four potted up and uh, they have to be in well protected area because there was just barely uh, a little bit of root in there, right? Uh, well, you know, the other thing I was thinking was I took these cuttings in October. <laughs> Actually, not a good month because now we're going into the cold season and then uh, when there's no uh, activity, then the roots does not get established well either. So in the past, I've always taken it in March, fe late February, March, April. Uh, so uh, those uh, in a couple months usually will be okay. So uh, that was the other mistake because I took it at the wrong time and the, the tug test failed me. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, this is sort of a, a recap of uh, making cuttings. Uh, the first ones were uh, hardwood cuttings that was successful and then uh, have a more of like the boxwood on its way but I'm not gonna touch that for another month or two. And then this one here, uh, which is partial success. I think I'll put the rest back in and uh, just wait some more. So anyway, this is Hero saying goodbye. I'll see you again real soon in another chapter.